Hello beautiful, hello there. I am sitting outside taking in the sun. It's very nice out today. Today, I want to talk about how to change from a negative mindset to a positive mindset. I used to be a very negative person. I used to think everything negative. Like, you tell me something, be sure that I'm going to find something negative to attach to what you just said. I'm not really sure why I was like that. A part of me believes it may have been the way I was raised. The way I was raised was very sheltered. I was raised in a way where I was afraid to branch out and always felt like I had to be on the safe side. I always needed a safety net. Because of that, I grew up with a lot of anxiety. I started having panic attacks when I was 16 years old and my panic attacks usually would come when I felt that I couldn't control certain situations. I do still have my panic attacks but nowhere near as frequently as I used to. I also used to deal with a lot of agoraphobia. I have videos where I speak about that. I'll post those in the link so you can check them out. It wasn't until last summer of 2016 was when I totally changed my mindset. It didn't happen overnight at all. Actually, a friend of mine had introduced me to ways of how to go from negative thinking to positive thinking. And I started listening to motivational videos. At first I felt weird because I was just like, this isn't gonna work. These are just a bunch of videos of people just saying inspirational, motivational type of stuff. I didn't think that what they said could apply to me because I had that negative mindset. I just didn't think that I could be as positive as they were. I didn't think that I could live a fulfilled, positive life. I always thought that it was pretty much doomed for me that this is just where I am in my life and this is it. I can't do anything about it. So I told myself, I'm going to do this 30-day challenge. And it was a 30-day positivity challenge. It was last summer. I could not say anything negative or think any negative thoughts for 30 days straight. So as soon as a negative thought popped into my head, because of course, being a negative person, that is bound to happen, I had to find ways to instantly toss it out of my mind. They say that if you go for a straight 30 days, with positivity by either listening to positive videos or watching positive videos or by reading positive books then your mind will start to shift because what you're doing is you're molding your mind and you're shaping it to think in a different way from what you're used to. It's been a full year now and I can honestly say that my mind has changed completely. I kind of almost forget sometimes how I used to think and how I used to be. I really am a totally different person from the person I used to be and I can also thank that to certain situations that I've gone through in my life and circumstances that have happened to me. I do believe that sometimes things don't always happen to you but it can happen for you and it may suck at the moment but in time you will see that those situations and circumstances will shape you into being a better person and a stronger person. So what I do is every morning, I take one hour, which I like to call my productivity hour, for myself. No TV, no social media. I'm still working on the social media part, but I'm getting there. I take that time to do something productive that is towards my goals, whatever the goals are that I'm trying to reach at the moment. That's what I do, I just focus on it. I also use that time to listen to motivational and empowering videos. I like to listen to a lot of YouTube videos that are inspirational and really push me to feel like I can live the life I want to live, I can do this. I went a few months without listening to some videos and I started to notice my anxiety was peaking, I was getting panic attacks again and I was feeling super, super negative. My confidence level was going down, even my own self-esteem. And I questioned why was I feeling this way? And then I was just like, obviously you haven't listened to anything motivational in a while. You need to feed your mind. So once I picked back up on it again, I was fine and good to go. I definitely believe that we can change our mindset, no matter how old you are, no matter what you've gone through, or how you were raised to think, you can definitely change the way you think. 
And when you change the way you think, you change the way you live. It can happen for anyone. You just have to open up that door in your mind that allows positive thoughts and positive feedback and positive suggestions and ideas. And once you just open up, the floodgates come through. And next thing you know, you're on this new journey. It's like a whole new revolution. It's almost like being high without actually being high. Some people tend to call it an awakening. So I guess you could say I went through my awakening process and I see things totally differently. I got rid of the words can't, won't, maybe, someday, and I replaced it with can, will, definitely, today. So whatever it is in your mind that you're thinking negative about, that you think you can't do, tell yourself that you can do it because I'm telling you that you can. Whatever in your mind you're thinking you won't do, tell yourself you will do it because I know that you will. Whatever it is that you keep on saying someday to, tell yourself someday could be never day and just do it today. I started these videos so that I can spread this message and help other beautiful women who are stuck with that negative mindset. I figured I've experienced enough things in my life, I can say fairly, to help somebody else who's dealing with low self-esteem, confidence issues, and anxiety. Negative circumstances are gonna happen to us. That's just life, it's just what happens. But in the meanwhile, enjoy your life and live it. Don't just survive, but actually live. This life was meant for us to enjoy. That's why the world is so big. So if you wanna travel, travel. If you want to write a book, write a book. If you want to start up your own business, start up your own business. And even though those things may sound easier said than done, which of course they are easier said than done, even for me, they can be possible, you can do it. You just have to take the time and use the tools which are in your mind, apply it, put it into action, and freaking do it already. Don't let negative people tell you you can do something because if you look at them and what they're doing, I bet you they're not doing any of the things that you are saying that you want to do. Some people may be living a nice life and all, but if you tell people what your dreams and your goals are, it may be too big for them because their mind is not in that mindset right now. Your mind is. So if your dreams are so big that it scares you and other people, then you're doing something right. All you have to do is trust yourself and go for it. What do you have to lose? You have one life. One life. Live that one life doing what you love. Live that one life doing what makes you feel the most alive. For me, it's my writing. So that's what I'm going after. What is it for you? Tell me down in the comments below what dreams you have. What holds you back? Are you a negative thinker or a positive thinker? Do you feel like you can't live the way that you would like to live because other people around you are telling you you can't or maybe because they're not doing it themselves? If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. See you later. Bye, beautiful.